Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs, guys. So I think in the previous session we have already seen in the previous uh, video, uh, we have already seen that how to launch Firefox with the help of a Geeko driver and the browser will be launched and then you can execute your program and you can run your script and run your test cases on Firefox. Now, uh, one more thing is there, guys, that how to execute your uh, Firefox in headless mode. Right, headless mode means without opening the browser, you have to launch Firefox and execute your script with headless mode. Okay, so there is a special configuration is available with the help of uh, uh, Firefox options and the Firefox binary class is available. It's very simple, separate configuration is there. If you want to run your uh, script on uh, Firefox with headless mode, you can use this configuration. So let's start with. So I'll do one thing that I'll create a new class over here. Let me quickly create a class. And uh, let's see my class name is Firefox headless, select the main method, click on finish. And uh, what I'll do one thing that quickly, what we have to do for headless browser guys, you need to do First of all, make sure that the pickrome driver.exe file is available on your system. Second thing is that uh, Firefox is available on your system. Now what we have to do, we have a special class that is called Firefox binary class is available. Okay, we just need to create the object of Firefox binary. So let's see my Firefox binary class object I'm creating, Firefox. This is the object reference name is equal to <coughs> new Firefox binary. Okay, so this class is coming from Selenium Firefox only and along with this Firefox binary, it will give you one method that is called add command line options. Okay, remember this method name guys, Firefox binary dot add command line options. After that, what the options we have to provide, the option is in double quotes, we have to write headless. Okay, guys, we just need to pass headless over there. Now, what we have to do, we have to set the system property for Geeko driver. So I'll quickly get the system property from Geeko driver like this. This is a system property for Geeko driver. Whatever the Geeko driver, where exactly the Geeko driver is available on your system, you just need to pass the .exe file path over there. So after that, what do we have to do? We have set the system property and we have to use one more class is there that is called Firefox options class is there. We have to create the Firefox options class uh, reference. Let's see, fo is equal to just create the object of this Firefox options like this Firefox options. And with this Firefox option uh, reference, we have one method that is called set binary options there. And what is a binary? My binary name is this Firefox binary that we have created. And inside this binary, we have this property, this option, headless option is available. And then we have to launch, okay, our Firefox like this. So Firefox, okay, a driver, Firefox driver, let's see, a driver is equal to or I would say like this, instead of Firefox driver, I would use like this. I'll start with web driver. Web driver, driver is equal to new Firefox driver. And inside this Firefox driver, but before that import this web driver. And uh, okay, this FO, this Firefox options you have to provide with inside the constructor of this. Firefox driver. That's it. So earlier what exactly you were doing, you were just executing with headless, without headless, system that's a property and then launch Firefox driver directly. Okay, if you want to open and uh, launch your Firefox, but if you don't want to launch your Firefox in and uh, if you want to launch in headless mode, this is a configuration Firefox binary, add this option and create Firefox option, set this particular binary and pass Firefox options object reference over here inside Firefox driver class. Now everything will remain same. So let me write, let's see driver dot 
get method is there <coughs> let's see http colon www dot facebook.com and uh, what exactly we will do after facebook.com we will uh, get the title driver dot get title and then we will store in some string variable let's say string title is equal to this and then we will print on the console that title <coughs> okay so let's run it and uh, my firefox should be launched in headless mode so let's see what happens now you can see my firefox is running in headless mode without opening any firefox see it, is, it did not launch my firefox so that's my original firefox let me run, close it also and then well, let's run it again so let's run it again and you will see the console without opening there is no firefox and you can see the message over here that you are running in headless mode okay so this is the information you are getting that you are running in headless mode and then all these info okay logs will be there info and debug logs and then ultimately we are getting facebook title on the console so this is how we have to run in headless mode for chrome we have already seen chrome options class we have to use along with headless so i'll send the url the link of that particular video how to execute chrome browser in headless i have already provided one video it's available on my channel so you can refer that channel guys okay so that's all make sure that okay sometimes we do mistake that okay we don't pass fo the firefox options reference over here so please make sure you are passing this reference over here okay guys so that's all for today thank you so much for watching if you really like this video please subscribe to the channel my channel name is naveen automation labs if you really like it please share with your friends and colleagues comment it like it and if you need any info any questions if you have feel free to write your questions in the comment section definitely i'll try to reply over there thank you so much guys thanks for watching